Hey, you want to know the best kept secret in preventing heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and depression? Well, today I'm going to go over the amazing benefits and wonders of vitamin D. Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose, as always, is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And guys, today's going to be a great video, because today I'm going to talk about the wondrous benefits of vitamin D. But guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you click that little bell notification so you get notified every time I do a video. I'm getting a lot of subscribers telling me they're not getting notifications, and I want to make sure that you don't miss a single video. And also, too, many of you have been asking to work with me personally. Well, guys, I can work with you anywhere in the country and even the world with our virtual practice. So there's more information down below. In fact, there's an information video that you can click on watching the convenience of your own home see if it's a fit for you and also too if you're more interested in learning about the metabolic healing diet formerly known as the keto diet check out the link down below too in the description where I'll let you know all about our keto course well anyway let's go ahead and get started on the wondrous benefits of vitamin D Despite its name, vitamin D is not actually a vitamin. It is a pro-hormone. What is a pro-hormone? Well, a pro-hormone are substances that the body converts to a hormone. Only about 10% of the vitamin D that the body needs comes from food. The rest the body makes on its own. In fact, it makes it mainly from sunlight. So the best time of the year, of course, to get vitamin D is during the summer months. Now, I will tell you this, many times people are thinking, well, in the winter months, that's when we get sick, we have immunodeficiencies, our immune system is tanked. The reason is, guys, it's not because you're not eating right or anything like that, although a lot of times you're not because it's the holiday season, and I've talked about that in many of my other videos where you're just indulging like crazy, eating a lot of sugars. But, but the biggest reason is the fact that we're not getting enough vitamin D. You're not getting vitamin D if you're not out in the sun. So that's why so many of you have to supplement it. And we're going to go over that at the very end. So make sure you watch to the end because I'm going to tell you a lot of the deficiencies, a lot of the sources, and a lot of ways that you can get the vitamin D that you need. And once again, we're going to talk about heart disease, cancer, diabetes, depression, and all the other different diseases that you can get when you are vitamin D deficient. So like I said, the best source of vitamin D is actually the sun. Although there's a lot of great foods, the sun is always the best. And when the sun hits your skin, it actually forms a hormone called cholecalciferol. That cholecalciferol in the skin then gets sent to the liver where it becomes calcidiol. And then calcidiol gets sent to the kidneys where it becomes calcitriol. And calcitriol is the active form. Everybody knows it's great for building strong bones and things like that, but vitamin D does so, so much more. The impact on vitamin D on the genetic level is enormous. Every nucleus has receptors for vitamin D. 2,000 genes are controlled by vitamin D. 5% of your genome is controlled by vitamin D, and it is called the master key to your immune system, and it helps prevent the cytokine storm. The cytokine storm is really when your body overreacts. You have to have cytokines. It's an inflammatory response that your body has whenever it has, you know, foreign invading bacteria or microorganisms or things like that, or toxins. Our bodies give off these cytokines, and cytokines are our body's immune response. However, when the body is overstimulated and overcharged, that's when you get this cytokine storm, and that becomes a really, really big problem. The good news is when you've got adequate levels of vitamin D, about mid-range, and once again, we're gonna go over the numbers at the very end, so you wanna make sure you watch, you avoid the cytokine storm where your body goes into this hyper-reactive mode. Many of you know that because you know your face is running, your eyes are tearing, you're itching, and all kinds of overreactions that your body is having in your immune system, this can prevent that. Now research shows that vitamin D may also prevent many of the diseases that we see today. Things like autism, 
or the flu. Like I said, I know many of you are coming into cold and flu season thinking, well, it's cold and flu season, I'm just supposed to get sick. The reason you get sick, once again, and I touched on this in the beginning, is because your body's not exposed to vitamin D. Researchers are finding this more and more just the implication vitamin D has in your overall health and your body's immune system response. So if you want to fight the flu, the common cold, make sure your vitamin D levels are up. And you know what bothers me right now is with everything that we're going through around the world, and you know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to actually say it because I don't want to get censored, but if we just had adequate levels of vitamin D and even things like zinc, but especially vitamin D, we would be able to fight off virtually any disease that comes our way from the common cold to anything that resembles the common cold, we'll say. You know what I'm talking about. Autoimmune diseases, even cancers. Many, many cancers are now being linked to vitamin D deficiencies, but not only that, many people in cancer research are using vitamin D therapy to help fight cancer. Chronic pain, depression, diabetes. We could actually help regulate blood sugar levels much better with adequate vitamin D levels. Heart disease, high blood pressure, neuromuscular disease, and osteoporosis, and many, many other chronic health conditions can be helped with vitamin D supplementation. Now, one of the biggest problems around the world is vitamin D deficiency. About 70% of the world is vitamin D deficient, and as a result, they're immune compromised, they're immune deficient. 70 to 80% of Americans are deficient. 82 to 88% of the nursing home patients are deficient. 83% of African Americans are deficient. Now, I will say this, the darker your skin color is, the harder it is for you to get vitamin D from the sun. So you wanna make sure you supplement. So people who are of African American heritage, people who are maybe Mediterranean or Latinos, you're gonna have a much more difficult time because with a darker skin, your body doesn't absorb and produce vitamin D as readily as fair skinned people do. 70% of Latinos are deficient, 47% of Caucasians, 80% of all hospital patients, and 96% of all ICU patients are deficient. So this is something by just increasing your levels of vitamin D, you can severely ward off many of these chronic illnesses that people are seeing when they're entering the hospital. Now, vitamin D deficiency has also been linked to different diseases. It's been linked to breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, heart disease, like I mentioned earlier, depression, and weight gain. So guys, like I've said, most people know take vitamin D, and the problem is you're thinking you're getting it just from your milk, okay? Fortifying milk with vitamin D is really not the answer. You know, they've done a really great job, the dairy farmers, of saying, okay, build strong teeth and bones by drinking more milk. Why? Because it's white and you think it's gonna make the bones and teeth stronger. Well, that's not really how it works. But vitamin D is very good for, you know, building strong teeth and bones and skin and hair and nails and things like that but you have to get the proper kind of vitamin D, not just the kind that they throw in with milk, so it's not always a good source. But as you can see, vitamin D deficiencies are linked to many, many of today's disease process. So once again, just by increasing your vitamin D levels, and we'll go over the, the best amounts, you're gonna be able to ward off a lot of these diseases and problems. So good natural sources of vitamin D include your fatty fish, okay? Things like salmon, mackerel, tuna, sardines, cod liver oil, beef liver cheese and egg yolks, especially runny egg yolks. These are gonna be all your best sources of vitamin D. The best sources by far are gonna be your oily fish, okay? You don't wanna eat as much cheese if you can avoid it, because cheese can be inflammatory, but if you're eating raw cheese, it's gonna be better. But really, really key in on the oily fish, especially the salmon, the sardines, cod, and things like that. So what are the ranges that you want to be in? Well, anything less than 50 nanograms per milliliter is considered deficient. So you want to make sure you're above 50. Anything between 50 and 70 nanograms per milliliter, that is optimal range. Now, like I've said, people are using vitamin D for therapeutic reasons. So if it's therapeutic levels, you're anywhere from 70 to 100 nanograms per milliliter. And if you're above 100, you're in excess, so you want to stay down below that. So once again, 50 to 70 nanograms per milliliter is the sweet spot. Therapeutic is 70 to 100. 
Now, if you're in question and you don't know what your levels are, you want to make sure that you're actually measuring it. So we can do tests. Anybody who's interested, once again, in getting testing done with my office, just make sure you reach out to us. My information will be down below in the description. But once again, have your doctors or your local healthcare practitioner do the tests on you to measure your micronutrient levels to make sure you have adequate levels of vitamin D. Like I said, guys, vitamin D is a wonder, wonder vitamin pro-hormone that you can use to help fight so many things, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and everything else. So like I said, make sure your levels are high, especially in the winter time, especially in the cooler months when you're not out there in the sun. Now, once again, areas that are above in the northern regions and down below. So the further you are from the equator, that's when you're gonna have the most vitamin D deficiency. So once again, make sure you stock up on your vitamin D and it's also great to mix it with K2. So try that out. I'll put a link down below to the brand I use, Carlson. I think it's phenomenal. It's about 1,000 IUs per drop. Now guys, I like to take anywhere between five to 10,000 IUs a day. That's what I recommend. So you could take 5,000, 10,000, I average roughly around seven. But people who are taking this 1,000 or 2,000, certainly it's beneficial, but it's always gonna be better if your levels are higher. I like to say between five and seven to even 10,000 IUs is gonna be your best bet. So guys, I hope you like the information. Once again, the best kept secret, but you can give the secret to your friends. So share the video with your friends. Let them know, help them out, help make a change in someone else's life. That's what it's really all about. And if you like this video, make sure you watch my other ones too. This is Dr. Nick. I love and appreciate you. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.